Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Heather Shah. Welcome to the Kalwas channel. As we have mentioned earlier that we will be uh, inviting different uh, speakers on different topics. So this time around we have brought uh, a very well-known expert uh, who, who, who conducts workshops uh, nationally and internationally on different research topics. Uh, today we will be uh, discussing and this session is all about the data analysis. Uh, most of the time, uh, the researchers or the students, MPhil, MS, PhD, they, they are uh, facing different difficulties while conducting the data analysis. And uh, most of the time, uh, they have been recommended by the different uh, supervisors and different researchers that to use the latest uh, softwares which are available. So Smart PLS is the latest technique and it's very easy. It's not that difficult and everyone can learn it very easily. So today uh, our guest speaker will explain it in a very simple words. This is actually for the beginners to learn from the scratch. In this video, we will be discussing all about the why we use the smart PLS, what is the justification for it, what are the measurement models, and what is the structure model, uh, how to establish the convergent validity, discriminant validity, what are the benchmark for that, how to carry out the mediation analysis and how to carry out the moderation analysis. So we will be discussing all these things and uh, please subscribe this channel so that you can get the latest notification on ev every uh, workshop, right? So let me just start uh, formally and uh, uh, by introduction of the speaker and myself as well. So in this uh, uh, workshop, we will be discussing all about the data analysis and hands-on approach so a little bit about me i'm uh, dr said heather alisha i'm a senior assistant professor and research cell coordinator at Bahria business school Bahria business uh, uh, schools uh, i did my phd uh, in human resource management from university of malaya malaysia i have more than 10 years experience in industry and academia i have multiple publication in impact factor journals scopus database and HEC recognized journals. I'm a reviewer of multiple reputed journals and I conduct workshop internationally and nationally as well. And I have been involved in the research projects as well. And, and now the introduction of the guest speaker, the very well-known and renowned person, uh, Dr. Shahab Aziz, who is also assistant professor at uh, Bahiriya Business School, Bahiriya University, Islamabad. He has obtained his PhD from University Technology, Malaysia, UTM. He has more than 10 years, uh, 11 years experience in academia and industry. He has published several articles uh, with impact factor journals uh, and Scopus Index journals. In addition to this, he is well equipped with both qualitative quantitative research uh, methods as well as data analysis techniques while using the smart PLS. He has been uh, invited as a, a session uh, chair for different international conferences. So, uh, as we have mentioned that CalWAS is always there to support the researchers, the uh, people in a way to get things uh, simplified for them. So now I would uh, formally invite our guest speaker, Dr. Shahab. And uh, Dr. Shahab, you can start right now, right? Thank you. Hi uh, everyone, can, can you all see this? Uh, yes, sir, it's visible. Slide? Yes, it's visible. Right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, the first thing is that, um, you know, we all are um, sort of learning from each other. Like, uh, I've been, I started learning this PLS, for, I think, back in 2017 when I was in Malaysia UTM. And I remember the first day when, you know, when our trainers started to train me, that was the first day that I, I, I saw the, this software. And I was unable to draw the, you know, this construct. Uh, and a guy was really helping me, you know, how to draw these circles and stuff like that. So I, I do remember the first day when, when I started learning this um, smart PLS. So now I've got some expertise in this um, software because I've been using it frequently. Uh, so, you know, basically, uh, uh, when we do theses or even articles, uh, 
if if I have a thesis, you know, thesis have like um, five chapters. Chapter one is uh, related to introduction. Chapter two is literature review. Three is methodology. Four is result and analysis. And chapter five is regarding conclusion and recommendations. So from chapter three, these things starts where we start discussing about uh, the research methodology that we choose and. Uh, we have to justify that whatever we methodology we are adopting, whether it's quantitative, qualitative, or mixed method. So we uh, this discussion even uh, we when we choose these um, techniques regarding data analysis, we have to justify those as well <clears throat> in our chapter three. That why we have uh, chosen a certain uh, methodology like. Hello. Uh, if we have chosen structure equation modeling SCM, why we have chosen SCM? And we have a different type of SCM now. So then we have to justify whether we are using um, ELS SCM or uh, covariance based SCM. In chapter three, we have a discussion about these things, <clears throat> uh, the justification of all these uh, methodology and certain techniques that we are adopting. <clears throat> One advice for all of you is that uh, always go for the latest techniques, right? And see the latest literature, right? Because uh, nowadays we see frequently a lot of literature coming up, you know, there's a lot of different techniques coming up. So always try to find the latest um, approaches, latest techniques, latest softwares, because the world of knowledge is changing very quickly so always look for the latest thing update your knowledge and uh, always refer to the latest thing to justify because it's, it's very difficult <clears throat> if you don't have up-to-date uh, knowledge about these techniques it's very difficult to justify we, we see a lot of theses nowadays which 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 are below par because the students are not um, look into the latest uh, techniques and data analysis approaches. So make sure you follow the latest approaches and techniques. Even if you are um, trying to publish your work, are you doing any thesis? Because publication in a good in good journals are very tough as well. Because the reviewer questions you on your techniques. If it's not um, latest and like I am a reviewer in uh, many research journals and I always question the techniques of uh, uh, different researcher and I uh, give a very tough time if some had not uh, adopted the right approach. So I give them very tough time in uh, these areas because uh, if, if the approach is not correct, then the, your analysis can be questioned as well. And then your recommendation inclusions are questioned as well because uh, adopting the right technique is important because your chapter four and five are based on these uh, analyses. So if, if you have made a mistake uh, in selection of your techniques, then your chapter four and five can be questions. Uh, so it's very difficult to justify. So we will be talking about primary data analysis. So one more thing I, I want to clarify, it's very mm -hmm. difficult to obtain a very good uh, primary data. So when you're collecting, you're doing any research where you have in, involved in a questionnaire or survey, make sure you spend some good time in designing a very good questionnaire because uh, uh, if, if, you, if you made a mistake in designing your questionnaire and uh, selection of a respondent is very important. So uh, these are questions related with the research design. So when you are designing your research, you have to be very careful uh, how you are structuring your questionnaire and uh, what will be the respondent, right? So, and don't try to rush into data collection because you cannot collect data again and again. So it's very difficult to collect primary data. So make sure you, you have a very good questionnaire before you jump into that data collection. Otherwise you will be end up, you know, with the data which is uh, not useful and uh, collecting data again is a very difficult 
task. I mean, nobody, nobody would like to collect data again. So make sure you spend some good time on designing a very good questionnaire before you jump into the data collection. So my, uh, we're gonna start now. Uh, Dr. Heather has introduced me already. So we will be starting the session straight away. I've got my email address here and um, the cell as well. So if you have any question, uh, you can uh, ask through email or uh, Right, there are different software that I, I, I'm gonna have expertise in Smart PLS. There's another software which is War PLS, SPSS, EVU, Stata. So, SPSS is like first generation software. So, uh, <clears throat> we'll discuss why it's first generation. Smart PLS nowadays is very uh, common that most of people are now using. War PLS is another software which is a very powerful software it's not very popular uh, but it is a very good software as well and i have learned that software because some of the things that we cannot do in smart pls we can do in go pls eviews and stata they are basically more related with the secondary data analysis so today's session is not uh, an advanced level session because in smart pls we have a lot of uh, advancement recently and there are a lot of new things have been added in this software but today's session is uh, not of uh, an advanced level we will be doing a, a moderate level session because uh, we can do later on a uh, advanced level session as well so basically mostly the primary data analysis uh, data collected through survey or questionnaire can be analyzed through smart pls the version we'll be using is 3.3.2. That's the latest version available right now. And the analysis or a type of uh, structure equation modeling is PLS, partial least square structure equation modeling. Because SCM have two types we'll be discussing uh, uh, in this session that there are two types and why we choose PLS, why we choose CBSCM. So we'll be discussing that as well. So. What we'll cover today is... Uh, um, Excuse me, is Dr. Shah. Yes. Uh, we have less than one minute. Uh, if you uh, can uh, start after this uh, uh, joining again. All the yeah, participants, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you please log in again? Uh, we have less than one minute for this uh, session. It will over. Right. So, yeah, please, all of you, please uh, log in again, and then we will start it. Thank you. <laughs> 